to answer the question about the main menu, <coughs> here in the class with the uh, method main, um, this is where I display all the menu choices. And then <coughs> I say console right, select one of the above. And uh, then I take that selection. Uh, so since it's being read in with the uh, console read line, I need to convert it to an integer. Uh, type 32, good enough. Um, and then store it into an integer. And now I have my switch statement, and my switch statement says, depending on the value of the integer, one, two, three, four, um, well, I only put in four. And then there'd be five and six in there. Uh, depending on that, um, so if I select four, um, then what I do is I create an object out of the, I've got a, class in here called guessing game I create an object and that object I call probably the only method that's in there uh, and then I break out of that and if the user doesn't select one through in this case four then you get the message you did not uh, enter the correct value or whatever you wanted to say and it breaks out um, okay, so uh, let me take you to see the class that I created to see an example of that. And still inside this namespace, there's another class that I created called Guessing Game. And <coughs> so since this is not the main method, which is... Uh, where we may have been placing most of our code, uh, I need to make sure that I have either a method or, in this case, I declared some of my variables as class level, which means that any method inside of here has access to that, has access to those. Uh, they're private, so they can only be seen within this class. Um, and then I've got my method uh, and inside of my method I create a um, random object and then uh, once I do that I uh, I um, go generate a, ge a random number so in that uh, random class there's a method called next and I can give it the whatever I want to be the minimum value and the maximum value and in this case I could just enter in the numbers but I should really use variables uh, which I can change from the top of my program and then I said guess a number and so the user guesses a number, and of course when it's read in, it's a string value, so I need to convert that to an integer and store that in the guess. And then I've got whatever logic I want to use to uh, um, have the user guess um, the number. So since I'm inside of the loop on this step, I need to uh, have my logic in here and then I'm going to have them guess again. Oops. I'm going to have them guess again and so they loop through there until they either guess correctly or uh, it looks like it's counting down from whatever the count is, 10 counting down from 10. <coughs> so they only have 10 tries to do this. Uh, okay, and that's it. Then it says, um,
congratulations you got it or sorry do you want to try again and that's it so that's a simple class that I've got in here let me see if I can uh, so in this right now I've got the guessing game and then I'm going to add some others in there as I go go along <coughs> okay that'll do it